abandoned with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search near by Harlow and Chinatown will unearth new leads. Family and friends Oh Lord. See what we got here. I already made some noise at the start there, off to a good start. I don't hear Bubba. They might have, but that's okay. We're boosted anyway. It's pretty cinematic. I'll give it that. Yeah, there's one other map currently. What's that? Shh. Generator must be over there. Please, please don't let that thing come back. Ah, oh, shit. He saw me to totally. He totally saw me. He's trolling me. It's been pretty decent so far, honestly.
Yikes. They got one guy, like... thing just think just think there's got to be a way out he sees me This way, right? Oh shit. Don't do it, hitchhiker cook! Fuck you! One, two, He's chasing after me. Oh, oh my God. That gave me like a fucking anxiety attack. Oh no, he jumped into the trap! Are they gone? I think I'm okay. Oh my god. Bubba's that way though! Yeah, there's multiple ways to escape as the survivor. That was just one of them. Not the homie. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> what a vibe. It's very cinematic though on the survivor's side, I'll give it that. I love watching these cutscenes and shit. Oh man. Still around here. I'm really curious to see how this plays out. You can't kill Grandpa from what I've heard. Basically you can attack him though and like reduce his levels so that the uh, family doesn't get like buffs like his sonar or like their strong abilities that they level him up fully. That way you can kind of keep them at bay so they don't just get like automatic UAV on you 24/7 Please let this stuff be safe
Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, there's multiple different escape routes you can do. Uh, you can do what I just did and destroy the gen. Um, there's an electric fence on this map that you can disable and climb through. Um, what's the other one? There's like a basement exit that you can open and escape through as well. It essentially just kind of comes down to like finding the best way to escape for you and doing it. Oh, they... I don't think they know how to turn the generator back on. Oh, come on, brother. That's Bubba. You gotta chill or he's gonna wreck your shit. Oh, that's... That's electrocuted, bro. The generator's still on. That's an electric fence, homie. And I love how Bubba's just sitting there. Can Bubba even pass the fence if it's electrocuted? That's what I'm wondering. If not, he's just kind of chilling there the entire game. <laughs> well, it's a little hard to say right now because everybody's playing solo queue and everybody's kind of new femme. But so far, it doesn't feel too bad. Survivor's side is definitely anxiety rush. Um, there's obviously some parts that could be used as infinites unless like the family works together. So solo queue might be a little painful on the family side. But overall, I think it works pretty well. Like, it's fun. I have fun playing the game. Oh, he's dead. Hitchhiker's about to slit him up. How do you like it so far, and what do you think they need to add and take out or tweak? Uh, overall instinct, I like it a lot. I feel like they need to add more executions, though, because, I mean, the executions in the game currently are cool. But I feel like it would be nicer just to have a little bit more variety, because right now it just kind of feels like, oh, you get to watch, like, the same generic kill every time you get somebody down. I would also like a way, I mean, obviously it's to make it rarer, because, you know, it awards additional XP and such. But Bubba's execution with the Gallows, I feel like there needs to be, like, an, I don't know, a way to pull that off, kind of. Or, like, a way, give people the choice to carry the down survivor instead of just automatically executing them when they knock them down. Um, they also need to, like, tweak some of the areas. Like I was mentioning earlier, there's a few areas that are definitely infinites, um, unless the family's working together, which is kind of painful, especially for, like, a solo queue experience. And I can understand maybe why they would add those to the teams working together really well, but I feel like in the long run, that's just going to make the solo queue experience a living hell. Um... Overall, though, I like it. I'm really curious to see how the skill tree is going to work out once they add that and see how that will affect the balance of the game. But overall, it's a good time. It reminds me a lot of, like, Friday the 13th mixed with Home Sweet Home. Just by the way it plays. Survivor's definitely an adrenaline rush, and Killer's also just fun as heck. I think I'm going to be the only one who escapes this round. Feels bad, man. Oh, they added a uh, new map for the playtest today. They added, like, the slaughterhouse, it's called. Oh, oh, you mean, like, an in-game map. Yeah, I agree there. I feel like unless you have map knowledge of the game, you're basically just going to be suffering most of the time, too. Like, I always get lost in the basement, too, and I'm looking around trying to figure out how I can get back up top. Or, like, where Grandpa's at, or, like, any of the other basic objectives. <laughs> when I'm playing on Family or uh, Survivor. Oh, this poor soul. Is 
through to the barricade. I do kind of like that, though, too, Instinct, because, like, it doesn't really give the family, like, an idea on where to camp. And I guess you can counter that with, like, map knowledge, of course. But I don't know. I kind of like the chaos aspect a little bit. One, one thing I've noticed with a lot of A-Sims, too, though, is it usually comes down to, like, team play as well. So in the full release, when you're able to play with your homies and form groups, it'll be curious to see how that plays out. Like, how will organized teams fare and how will that affect balance? The Bubba Dance. West Road Escape, man. You love to see it.